Hello students, we continue our lectures on solid state physics. Uh, there is a fluxoid of quantum uh, of this amount, 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 cos centimeter square for a type 2 superconductor. And this is the magnetic field which has been applied. We need to find out the penetration depth. So this is the formula that we will be using, hc minus 0 to phi 0 the fluxoid divided by uh, pi and lambda square. This lambda is penetration depth. So, using this formula, we uh, get that this penetration depth is around 1000 Armstrong. Similarly, if uh, the magnetic field is now uh, 8 by 5 to 10 to the power of 5 cos, it will have magnetic field, and we need to find out the correlation depth. So, using this formula, HC2 is equal to 5 and by 2. Uh, sorry 5 0 divided by pi sigma square so this value again comes out to be 50 armstrong this is the correlation depth so this ac1 and ac2 are the two uh, critical magnetic fields for a type 2 superconductor the lower one corresponding to the penetration depth the higher one corresponding to the correlation depth the next uh, problem is if uh, the critical temperature is related to the mass of the material by this formula. So, if we have a critical temperature of 4.18 Kelvin for a mass 199.5 atomic mass, then what is the critical temperature for 203.4 atomic mass? So, simply if we use this formula, we will take the ratio of 4.18 by Tc and put that atomic masses, corresponding atomic masses. And then we come out with 4.15 K is the critical temperature for corresponding to this mass. Next question is if uh, the critical temperature of 4 Kelvin is uh, now 4 Kelvin corresponds to an, a magnetic field of 11 milliampere per centimeter square and 8 Kelvin corresponds to 5.5 milliampere per centimeter square. What is the critical? Uh, temperature. So, using this formula, right, C1 by T is equal to 1 minus T by CC whole square. So, we put the uh, value of the atomic, the magnetic fields, and we will put the corresponding temperature. So, this is 2. So, by doing simple arithmetic, we come to this value Tc is equal to 4 root 7 which is equal to 10.6 Kelvin. And lastly with the number density of an element is given as the nickel is given as a to the power three times per centimeter cube and this is the value of the boom magneton. What is the magnetic moment? So in the nickel if this is the configuration electronic configuration for an ferromagnetic state nickel comes into the plus 2 state so that corresponds to cd6 that means uh, two more electrons are, uh, are vacant so that makes it four infinite electrons so magnetic moment is equal to n into n plus 2 for is a number of unpaired electrons so that makes it 4.9 mv so then we will put the value of 4.9 mv into n is a number density which comes around 3.971 and ampere per meter this is the saturation magnetization for nickel.